Kisses straight to my heart I'd never noticed But you were never there, you were never there all right, YouTube, what is up? We are back with another US Fisherman episode today. Before we get out on the water, I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to talk to you guys about my choice of baits for today um, and kind of all the time for pre-spawn, smallmouth, largemouth fishing. So before we get started, um, I wanna show you guys kind of what we're working with today. So my, my big process when I'm out on the water is um, to initially search for fish, you know? And that starts with finding the warmest possible water. So some of my strategies that I use kind of going into each fishing day is to take a look at the wind direction the past few days. Uh, we've had a strong southeast, south wind. Um, so I'm, I'm going to really focus on the north half of the lake I'm fishing today, as you guys will see. But after you determine your initial fishing area for pre-spawn bass who are often cruising around on flats and holding on smaller pieces of structure adjacent to spawning flats and those type of areas. Um, once you find that group of fish, you want to really slow down and break down every piece of structure. So to get started with, my favorite search baits are going to be a spinner bait. I've got a Nichols half ounce here. Um, I'm going to be throwing a half ounce today because it's as windy as it can get out there. But, um, and then with high winds, I'll also go with a heavier tube and a jerk bait. So I've got the Rapala Shadow Wrap deep here. And then this is a half ounce tube, but I'll normally throw three eighths, no matter the conditions. Um, some other, other baits I like to throw once you kind of locate those fish are going to be a, um, heavier Ned. So you can really break down individual pieces of structure and then once again, today, I have to um, upsize my head on the jig because it's so windy. So other than that, we've got a couple of ball head swim baits. Uh, this one's got the Gambler Goat head and a Kitek trailer on it. And then this one has a custom Paul Cruz Gobi swim bait um, just on a simple, cheap ball head. So that's what I'm going to be throwing today, guys. Um, if you have any questions about the lures I'm using, and if I change it up on the water, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but that's what I'm gonna stick with. We're just gonna go try to find a group of fish and get them fired up. So I'll see you guys on the water. That is my first ever Alabama rig fish, guys. Wow, that is a chunk. Back in the water. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Wow, that was quick, guys. Kind of a mask. I had the net in the back of the boat.
my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. That is an easy five. And there was a bigger one behind it. There he goes. Wow. guys a chunky one really three pounder pick pick back in the water 